Okay, so excuse the glare, I've just got a work light so you can actually see in here. Um, this here is the top slide of the little maze I've been working on for a mate of mine. Um, I haven't touched the top, it's annoying, it steps down there like fucking everything on this machine. Anyway, so I scraped the flats uh, to about 20, maybe 30 points per inch, just to a decent degree. Um, and then I've brought the actual, the body of the compound for inspection. I've got, they're actually, they're fantastic. These here, which are, they're actually um, uh, ring gauges for inspection. Um, like I think that one is a, is that, is that like a, a 92? Where is it? Oh, no, sorry, 72 mil ring gauge. And they're lapped and extremely parallel. It's really good for inspection. The bottom of this from factory is just fucked. Like it's been roughly machined, rust up a bit, and then it actually looks like they've got a sanding disc that's extremely like lost its grit, extremely blunt, and just hit it. And I stoned it as best I could, and it's like a, it's, it's got a solid, um, not pin, but like a solid swivel that comes out, so I can't scrape it on the plate, and then the actual top slide isn't convenient to scrape as a master, so I've just decided to leave it as is. Now, the ways on here, tip in by about four thou off that. I mean, it could be a, I don't think it's a dent, I think it's just on the piss. So I've just decided, okay, I'll match it in, I'll get it relatively close, enough that it's it's not, you know, moving around, it's not causing him problems with parting off. Um, so the, yeah, I was a little bit troubled with the inspection, um, with the test indicator, the little test indicator there, and it was pretty all over the place, but not enough for the chatter I was getting when I was parting off and I put in like I admit a lot of blue on there because I just wanted to see you know like okay it's gonna be bad didn't know how bad it was gonna be now right at the back there is actually the machined original machine surface you can see the machine marks there and then there's a little dent there um, which you know is, is thrown up but basically what they've done is they've machined this really coarsely very rough finish and then attacked it with a scraper not for bearing but just to get those rough machine marks down make it look a bit more presentable but i'm guessing that the scraper they used wasn't relieved very well and they've missed that back section so when this top slide has been in use even when it's locked down it's only sitting on that little tiny strip you know not even an eighth wide at the back and this is on the um this is on the, the opposite of the operator side so most of your tool pressure is actually down on here. And I noticed when I took a relatively big cut, you could visibly see the top slide pulling down a little bit, which was a combination of the shittiness in the cross slide, this fuckery here, um, the saddle was a bit bananaed. Um, so I'm not, I'll, I'll match it in, but I'm not really sure how far I should go with this, because it is just a, you know, an oriental machine. One thing that I found was pretty interesting, I always complain about the, uh, the surface grind, the surface grind reference surfaces on these. And, you know, usually, I, I always say this, but on a good machine, you know, you use that as a reference. But on here, you can see where I've stoned it. Uh, you can see that well, the little facets. So that's tiger striping, which is generally wheel out of balance, you know, just shitty surface grinding. But there's a very distinctive line, oh, it's hard to see, uh, there to there, and that actually isn't coplanar, like it, it's not, sorry, it's not parallel to the ways in any way. So that grinding operation was done in a separate machine and wasn't done in the same setup, which is like if you, when I put an indicator across this, it's really hard to hold this iPhone and indicate. But those little tiger stripes and those things, there's deviation of a few thou, not just like tipped in from it being, you know, the wrong way around. But literally the whole thing topographically is just like a mountain, it's crazy.